All right, this is the uh, pond building site. I just wanted to show what it looked like before I built uh, my structure. Um, I bought a bunch of four by fours. So the four by four by six. Those are the ones on the wall there, and then the uh, lengthwise ones are four by four by eight. So the pond's going to be roughly eight by four. Uh, we're going to go six high on both sides. So six up, all the way up there, roughly around 22 inches or so. Um, so uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to clear this out. This was a, a previous person who lived here had a um, uh, child or something, and uh, they were living inside of the sand pit or something. So we're going to remove the sand pit and uh, clear it out a little bit, move some of the gravel over here, uh, spread it around to the gravel area. So. Uh, it's still kind of a work in progress. We we'll take this apart, move all the sand, uh, and then frame it up uh, until the next video. All right, part two of this uh, video recording of the pond. This is uh, after we've cleared out the sandbox. We use the sand for padding uh, for the uh, liner. Although there'll still be a pond liner pad underneath it. This will be the uh, part for it. We've done 4x4s, so front line is 4x6s, the next is 4x8s, so what we've done here is we counter set them, I guess that's what you call them, and we tried to make this as level as possible, and for the lag bolts, we drilled out some holes so the lags will be flush when we put the next layer on. So, this one all the way over, we had to do some quick adjustments to the downspout for the water thing. So, all the way over to here, put some lag bolts, we're going to counter set them. So this one will be on this guy, and then we put them all the way over to this one. So each next layer will have one screw on one side, and then the other one will screw into it from the top as we go up, and we're going to go up six. So six high on all ends. And then there you go. We had to clear out all this gravel, so gravel all the way around. Alright, just wanted to give a quick update on this video here of the tools that I'm using on the corners. Um, we have a 3 8 lag bolt, which is this bad Bama Jam, it's a 6 inch. So this goes down to 2, connects 2 beams, just like so. I cleared out the top part before I started drilling with the bottom with a 7 8 paddle bit right here. So I cleared that out. The reason why I did that, a couple reasons. One of them is so that I can make my socket go all the way flush when I was cranking it down. So this goes all the way in. And to make the lag bolt flush with the wood so that when the next board goes on top of it and I sink it on this side, uh, it'll be even and flat. So this was the bit that I used and I put a little mark right there. You can see that little mark where my ring finger is to how far I was going to go down, right down there. So I pre-drilled the hole, and then I used a socket to go all the way down to the log line bolt. So, that's it, right there. Anyway, just wanted to add that little bit of information. Nobody did that for me. So, I used, uh, this is pre-treated, um, or pressure-treated wood, so I had to use, I believe it's anodized, I guess that's where, what's the anodized, what's the type of lag bolt we use? I don't know, anodized. Galvanized, that's what it is. Couldn't use the uh, chrome looking one, so I need galvanized. Otherwise, the the um, pressure treatment chemical would chew through it. So, anyway, done. Okay, pond update. Uh, I just want to show what it looks like. We're almost done. I've been sinking these uh, lag bolts into all the corners here. So, pretty much what we've been doing is going back and forth on these guys. So, this would be one, and then this would be another. And then this would be another, so on and so forth as you go down. So you got this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here. All back and forth. So that's uh, effective until we get to the top. In which case, we're going to need to uh, sink these guys here. So we sink this one here and this one here. So that's uh, so it'll be two on each board all the way across. Uh, so, but it's looking pretty good. If I say so myself, that's the, uh, the overall pond itself. So once the liner goes in there, it'll look really good. So we got some really nice um, wood grain on that thing. 
It's gonna look really good when it's finished. So there you are. And there's my daughter with the replacement battery. Say hi, Monk. Hi. And keep cranking it. Child power. Yeah. Flag bolt. <laughs> Do it. Burn it. Burn it. <laughs> Keep going. Gotta be flush. Keep going. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, we have went and got the liner and the little protector coat guy uh, for this pond. So we're putting in the protector right now, which we ended up our, our measurements on our overall pond was 68 inches by 94 inches um, by with a depth of 22 inches. So when we went and got it. Uh, we couldn't go up with a 10 by 10 because it was about 11.8 too long. Um, so that kind of prevented that from doing that. So we had to buy a custom one, which we bought in a giant roll. It's right there. And we'll be putting in shortly. But right now we're going to put in this um, protector coat guy, guy thing. So it's going to protect the liner itself. Even though we have sand in here, we're just going to go a little bit. A little bit further, I think, and protect the walls. Make sure no pieces of wood or anything weird comes in, just in case, kind of thing. So anyway, I will commence the next video once this part's installed. All right, this is the uh, liner, as is. It goes all the way to the top there, but it's pretty snug on that top corner. Uh, but it's enough to flip over by about an inch, so we'll be able to attach it once the water gets in it. We have some uh, extra liner down here towards the end, which will be for another project in the future. So we have more down there if we want to. Um, it's kind of bunched up there in the corners. And then we're going to start filling this up full of water, which should expand all the sides and mash down everything we need to. Okay, and um, I can kill myself up here in this corner here. Next video. Uh, looks like what we did was we put the liner in, we filled up, up the water, put bricks on all the sides so it didn't move around. Uh, then we're using these roofing tacks, which are look like this, and they have little rubber grommets on them right here on the side. So we've been pre-drilling each of these and then putting nailing them in so it doesn't move around. Um, and then that's about it. We're starting on all the sides first, so I haven't done this side yet. Um, but we'll do the long sides here, then we'll do this long side over here, then we'll do this long side, and then we'll finish off uh, on the corners once they're kind of folded in there. So we're going to give us some folds in here. But other than that, that's the latest update on this pond. And it's filled up pretty much. Okay, quick uh, pond video update. Um, just as the final, well not final, it's a piece in the puzzle of uh, building this pond. So we have, I put in some 2x8x8 by eight by eight, um, treated beams on this corners here on the side. And then I attached them with some deck screws down there at the bottom. As you can tell, I am not a professional in any way, shape, or form. But I attached them every two or so. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but that's how I did it. So I've uh, covered up the nails that are holding down the um, uh, the liner, so you can't see that anymore, so it looks a little more finished. Uh, I then treated it uh, and sealed it with a dual treatment slash stain thing, so hopefully it's uh, it's still pretty wet right now. Still got some stuff on my hands about it, so I just did it. Tried to keep it out of the pond as best as possible, but uh, attached it around the edge, so treated the whole thing. Looks pretty pretty good finished, um, so looks nice I think. Uh, my filter has got some uh, some aesthetic value that I need to work out, but I just wanted to get the biological thing going on it. Uh, it takes about a month or so before I can even think about putting in fish. Um, I'm going to be doing a, an additive uh, with ammonia, so I'll be adding ammonia to the 
the pond and then um, just essentially treating it as if the fish were creating the ammonia. So this is the, this is the filter. Um, I don't know if it's just a box. Uh, and then inside here we have it a uh, bunch of holes through some PVC and then it's going over some uh, sponge. Um, and inside there we have some chunks of um, plastic that we have. I had some uh, some pieces that they use for um, uh, the same thing that they use for the round of base of trees to keep weeds down. It's like a recycled plastic. I'm going to be using it as my biological media. Uh, and then it, over here is where it drains over on the side. So it's used a, a bulkhead fitting and just attach it to there. So that's my pre-filter slash pump that's running into it. So this should be able to filter quite a bit. So spreading it out over there. So it's a combination mechanical filter and then a biological filter down there at the bottom. Kind of a wet dry system, uh, similar to like a reef tank um, back in the day when people went with the duck system. So other than that, that's the uh, that's the update. Uh, I had to restrict the thing because it was overflowing quite a bit, so I put that down there. It's not done yet. I still have a. I'm gonna be putting in a whole planter type thing on the top of this guy, and then integrating my PVC a little bit better, so it doesn't look like trash. So. Other than that, that's the update. Alright, this is an update on the video. We've added some plants uh, so far. So, this is a... Uh, got some um, lotus right there in the center. Uh, and then we put in uh, a couple of these water lilies right here. Well, it's just actually one water lily. Um, but we just added that in there. And then we had to s elevate that with an upside down pot. And this one in the center, we're done with the upside down basket. If you can see that down there, way right down at the bottom. So it's like a basket that we got from Target. And this is uh, what makes poi, I guess. I forget what the name of it is. Um, but we put that inside there. And we left it a little bit out of the water right there. That's what we kind of we suggested so far. So, other than that, we don't have any fish in it. We're doing a, a chemical cycle. We're adding ammonia to the water directly, and we're letting it just begin the biological process. But this is one of the many steps in this pond. There you go.